All right, we're doing sharp or black key dip. So um, I've already done to this middle section certain steps of the regulation. I've done, I, well, with the vertical, when you do blow distance for one, you do them for them all. Then I checked all the capstans. I did the key level. I did the back checks, back checks are in a row. So now what I want is the sharp dip to match the natural dip. And how I do it is with my back checks in a row, I play the three notes. Those are my naturals. There's my sharp. My sharp is checking so much further back, so that means the dip needs to increase. I need to have more key travel to keep moving the back check forward. So I'm just going to raise the three of them. Pull out the punching for this. Um, and this is a bit of a guess. I'm going to take, you know, I'm going to take out all of their punchings and just start with mine because I know this is 20 thousands. And then if I need to add more to that, I can, but now I know exactly what I've got. And I Its travel doesn't need to increase as much as that last one. I know that this is 30 thousandths. I'm going to replace it with 20 thousandths, and we'll start with that. There also was another card in there from previous. Probably could use a little more dip. Can you, with the video, see the alignment of the hammers? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take out their other little card. That looks good. So, I think I'm just going to do what I did before. I got rid of all their cards. Put in my twenty thousands so we'll go from there. It's now the sharp key is now traveling a little bit further ahead, so I'm going to add um, a blue to this, which is ten thousands. So I went ahead and let the card stay in there and adding the blue to it. evaluation of this natural I've got my gauge here that's 13 millimeters and this is not 13 it needs to go it needs to check closer so the first thing I would do is I check the capstan is there any room to change the capstan is the lost motion exactly the same as the keys around it I'm I could raise it slightly, but I don't think this, in this case, it's going to change it. This one, I'm gonna raise the capstan slightly. Okay, I just have a little bit of lost motion. So my next thing, check, check in. I need it still closer. My next thing is key dip. And yes, I can feel between these two keys, and even though I said key dip before, I can feel that there is room to increase key dip on this key. So what do we have? We have a 20,000, so I'm going to try blue and a green, which is 15. So I'm just changing this a little bit. That's pretty, get, that's getting there. Still could be a little more. Let's take out that green. You know, it's so, I'm going to call it good. Because um, I, 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 
I don't want to change key dips so much that a pianist could feel it. And now I'm going to evaluate the sharp and the sharp needs a lot more key dip. You know, just, these are standard punching, or not, these, are, yes, they're standard punchings, of course they are. These are standard, you know, uh, hardware store general, but what I did is I ran them across the file, and I don't know if you can pick, see that, that I've got the beveled edge so that I can more easily get under these with this tweezers. So I'm going to get rid of all of this and put in a 20 thousandths. It actually could use a little more key dip than that. So let's... I'll start picking punchings up off the floor. I put in a blue, which is 10 thousandths, and I'm adding more punchings to the floor. And that's perfect. So, at the end, when I'm finished, you know, all of my checking is very, very spot on, which means that everything is playing consistently one note to the other. And then the very last thing I would do is I would actually get my light and play each note and really look at the relationship of the jack to the butt and do one last is everything consistent? But usually, if all of this is consistent, that's consistent too.